Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be covering CS50's introduction to programming with Python's Home Federal Savings Bank problem set. So I hope you guys have read through this problem set and watched this funny video and know what's going on. Um, let me just quickly run through the prob problem set. We prompt the user uh, for a greeting and if the greeting is hello, we output zero dollars and if the greeting starts with a H, but not hello, we output $20 and otherwise we output $100. So from the looks of it, it seems that we are using if else conditions and we also have other conditions such as ignoring any leading white spaces and making the greeting case insensitive. And I also checked some of the hint, which isn't a lot. They told us to make use of some of the string methods that we have and also that the zero dollars is dependent on only the first word and the next few words and characters does not matter. So it seems like a pretty interesting problem set. Let's uh, get started, I guess. So first we um, get a greeting from the user. Uh, and before that, let me just create the bank, CD bank. Bank.py and there we go. So um, let's just get user input equals to input greeting, and then we have to take care of any leading white spaces. So let's take a look at some of the string methods they have for us. And yeah, you guys can just look through, but I know which method to use this time. It's called strip. We have used it a few times already. There you go, strip, dot strip. And um, yeah, leading and trailing characters removed. And by default, it removes white spaces, all right? So um, then afterwards, we want to make the greetings in case insensitive. So I was wondering, perhaps we could make the default be lowercase. So uh, even if the user inputs uppercase, we just convert it back to lowercase and we check with the lowercase. For this, we can use the lower, uh, lower method, which converts everything to lowercase. All right, so we have that. And then now we check for the input. So if the input is hello, then we output $0. So if user underscore input. So how do we check if there is hello in the input? We can check for if the input starts with hello. So yeah, let's just quickly look through the string methods and see if we find some method like that. And I just found one. This method called string starts with, we can check what the string starts with, I guess. And we want to check if the string starts with a uh, hello. All right, so uh, let's use that, I guess. The string dot starts with and we write hello. So um, yeah, this lower will help convert everything here to lowercase. So we can just check for the lowercase of hello. And if that's the case, then we can just print um, zero dollars and um, we can check for the next case which is LF the next case is to check for H so we can use the same method that we used earlier and just check for H in the beginning and we just print twenty dollars and then lastly we check we don't have to check anything. We can just print out uh, $100. So um, I hope this works. Let's just uh, check it out, I guess. Check 50 problems. Uh, let's check. So I hope you guys have found this video beneficial. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe to see more videos like this. If you have any questions for this problem set or any other problem set, just comment down below and I'll try my best to help you all out. And it seems like we got all the checks correct. And that's about it. Have a nice day ahead. 